This speed paint covers some of the supposed best of the best in the form of the Turkina Keshek of Clan Jade Falcon. So welcome to another episode of an Inner Sphere Mech Warrior's Guide to Painting Filthy Clanner Mechs. I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield, and today we've got some of the supposed most elite warriors of the great Clan Jade Falcon in the form of, well, I guess they're kind of the Khan's personal warrior division per se, what do you call it, clusters, the proper clanner terminology, see how much I care about that crap. <laughs> so these are Turkina Keshek. And um, this particular speed paint here is going to take you about 40 minutes per mech with the usual qualifications, which are one, the miniature's already primed, and two, I'm not factoring in drying time, so get out those two trinaries you need to build a good chunk of the cluster and go from there. So let's get started working on the most stubborn and arrogant warriors of the fun turkey clanner faction now. So our first step is something different this time. I'm not priming in black. I'm using green skin from Army Painters War Paint series. This spray primer is pretty much a middle green color. To begin the painting process, we're going to be using a black wash. I've got Nolan Oil Gloss from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints. And the goal here is to try to get this wash inside all the crevices and all the details of the mech as well as around any of the raised areas. I'm not trying to cover the entire mech, I'm just focusing on those particular regions. Once our initial layer of the wash is dried, we're going to start working on that cloudy green color that makes up the bulk of the armor on the mech. You want to start with a slightly brighter green color, I've got Nilith from Caldcraft's line of paints. And what you want to do is take a little bit of this paint, put it on your dry brush, and then do your normal sort of dry brushing techniques, but it's going to be more of a dabbing technique with the dry brush to get a bit of a cloudy pattern of this across the entire mech. We got one more layer of the cloudy green texture to work with. I'm going to take an even brighter green color than what I had a moment ago. I've got Moot Green from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints. I'm going to mix that into the Nilith about 50-50 and repeat my dry brushing technique where I kind of dab on the paint and do a little bit of a dry brush and then apply another layer of clouds over the entirety of the mech. It seems that with this particular camouflage pattern, edge highlighting is part of the actual painting process and not just like something miniature painters do. Therefore I'm going to take some of the Moot Green, that's that bright color I just worked with a moment ago and using my artificer layer extra small brush, I'm going to apply a few edge highlights here and there all across the entire mech. Now it's time for the final step of the cloud armor pattern. Sorry, we're not all the way to the end yet, guys. I'm going to be using a dark green shade. I've got Beal Tan from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints, and it comes in one of those nice old school tiny shade bottles. It's been a few years since one of those have been around. And what I'm doing here is applying this shade in a little bit of a dabbing cloud pattern. So I'm not coating the entire mech like I normally would with a shade. I'm putting it on in a very similar fashion to the cloud patterns I did earlier. Now the key thing here is you want to be careful in terms of how the shade is pooling up. You don't want to leave a very dark pool of it in any one spot, otherwise you'll get a very dark spot in the mech that doesn't look like the effect we're going for. So just be very careful to put only small amounts of the shade on with each of your little brush strokes. With the base armor color done, it's time to move on to some details. Turkina Keshik mechs, they have a bit of a trim pattern to them in the form of vertical and horizontal lines that are kind of a bright lime green color. So for that, I'm going to start with the Moot Green that I used earlier and mix in a little bit of yellow in the form of Empyrean from Coldcraft's line of paints. And very carefully with a detail line brush, I'm going to paint on a few horizontal lines and a few vertical lines in just some interesting places on the mech. With those details done, we're going to use the same color to very carefully, oh, this part's always fun, paint the cockpit glass of the battle mech. The last set of details we want to worry about are the mechanical areas in the mech. These are things like the feet, actuators, as well as the various weapons. 
This is gonna be a three step process. The first is to coat these areas in a base gray color. I've got Dawnstone Gray from Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints. Step two of the metal detail process involves taking a silver color. I've got my metallic silver from Army Painters War Paint series. And I'm gonna apply this over most of the gray base, but depending on how kind of battle damage you want the mech to look, you can leave more or less of the gray visible. For the final step of the metal detail process and the final step of the mech, I'm gonna be going back to where this all began with some non-oil gloss, some Games Workshop, Citadel line of paints, and I'm gonna be going over these metal areas with this black shiny wash. And with that, let's call our Takina Keshik mech complete. So free unrelated tip to painting for you guys. If you're not caught up on the latest Battletech novels, don't go around looking up the history of the factions, or apparently you will learn spoilers about who lives and who dies. Oh well. <laughs> that's not what I was expecting was going to happen. But that's all I've got for you on the speed painting front, so hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial on painting up Clan Jade Falcon, and you clanners out there weren't too horribly offended by my opening comments. If you were, feel free to post trials of whatever in the comments, but I don't care. But if you want to see me try to paint some other famous Battletech unit, go ahead and post that in the comments, and I think I might just be able to get around to it. The Turkina Keshex was actually from, I believe, the Marauder video. Someone suggested those in the comments, so I finally got around to taking care of that. So if you want to see more of those videos, also hit that subscribe button and like and all that fun YouTube stuff. So until next time, I'm Jason. Thanks for watching.